everybody. I'm Carrie and I work here at the Fairfield County District Library at the Johns Branch here in Amanda. I'm here to share some books with you for Pride Week. First here I have um, Julian at the Wedding by Jessica Love. You may recognize Julian from Julian is a Mermaid. In this book, Julian meets his friend Marisol and they attend a wedding together. Lots of fun illustrations here, lots of great representation. It says here, a wedding is a party for love. Julian and Marisol get into a little bit of trouble at the wedding, but they find a creative way out. Just lots of fun, lots of family and dancing and just everything a wedding should be. Next I have Ange Tango Mix 3. And this is the story of two male penguins who sort of chose each other as one another's mates in a zoo. And they saw that all of the other penguins around them were um, having eggs and they sort of wanted to participate too. And they were collecting rocks and building a nest. And the zookeepers gave Roy and Silo, the two male penguins, their own egg to father. And they did a wonderful job, and this one is based on a true story. Very fun. Next we have It Feels Good to Be Yourself. This is a nonfiction book about gender identity, um, and this just gives some very straightforward definitions about different gender identities that people may identify with. And it's just very gentle in the way that it explains things. Also lots of good representation in this book as well. Next here, we've got Snapdragon, which is a graphic novel by Kat Lay. Snapdragon was just a really wonderful, fun time. Snap meets an older friend, Jax, who sort of mentors her in some hobbies um, that involve taxidermy. Later on in the book, we find out that Jax has sort of a, con a surprise connection to Snap's family. Um, so it's a really fun twist at the end. Next we have Rick by Alex Gino. You may recognize the author Alex Gino from the book George, and you may recognize um, a character who will make a reappearance in this book as Melissa, but this book mainly focuses on Rick and his experience and his journey, figuring out his identity and his orientation. While he's doing that, he joins a club for LGBT middle schoolers. There's a very diverse cast, um, lots of identities to explore. It's a really fun time. They end up having a cabaret talent show, which is lots of fun. Next we have Drumroll Please. And um, this is a book about Melly. She's a young musician. And this is a book about her first crush and just all of the feelings that come along with that and exploring that. Very sweet. Next here we have a high five for Glenn Burke. This is really great um, for sports fans, um, for reluctant readers. This is a, um, a book about a middle schooler who is exploring his own identity while writing a report about a gay baseball player who incidentally invented the high five. So very cool story, um, very fun journey. And last here we have The Best at It. This is about seventh grader Rahul as he tries to find the thing that he enjoys and become the best at it. He kind of struggles to figure out what that might be, though, as he deals with 
figuring out his own identity and dealing with some anxiety and some other relatable issues along the way. So this book sort of deals with a lot of the heavier issues that middle schoolers might deal with, but in a way that meets them at their level. So that's what we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to stop into the main library to pick up a craft kit for Pride Week and stay tuned for more teen and adult Pride Week favorites. See you next time.